Hey everybody, welcome to Franny's Hair. I'm so excited for today's video. Today I'm bringing you six new Beltress wigs, so stay tuned. Okay, so you may have noticed that I'm a little bit excited about the new Beltress lines. In the last two videos that I did, the short ones, I don't know if you saw them, I have been testing the fibers on Santa Barbara, which is one from the City Collection. I noticed that the fibers were not tangling as much as a normal heat-friendly wig tangles. They felt really nice. They stayed in good condition over the entire week, and I wore the wig day in and day out, and you can go check out that video. I'll put a link right here so you can check it out. In any case, I was really excited to get these new wigs and try them on and show them to you. Now, you can get these right now at frannyshair.com at 30% off. I do have to say they are selling out of here really quickly. So if you are looking for a particular wig in a particular color and it says that it's not available right now, but you want to get it as quickly as possible, send us an email at orders at franniesHair.com and we can process the order for you and make sure you get that wig as quickly as possible and at the sale price. They are continually coming back in stock, so you can get on that list and get it more quickly. All right, so let's take a look at these new wigs. So first, let me just say that for each wig, I will have the name and the color listed when I start showing the wig, and I will also show the current sale price. So the price you're seeing is the sale price. If you're watching this video at a later time and it's not on sale, I can't guarantee the sale price but this is the price that it's on sale for now. I'm in my living room again. People seem to like it. I really enjoy it. It feels cozier. I have the fire going. I'm not gonna lie, I cheated. I got one of those logs that's not really a log. It's like a big fire starter that burns for a few hours. This way I can keep the fire going and keep the ambiance really nice. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll learn how to build a fire, but for now this is working well. All right, so let's get started. This wig is called Miu, M-I-U. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. And it's in Sunkissed Almond Rooted. Okay, so during this review, I'm going to do the things I normally do, which is to uh, read you the description so you know the manufacturer's intentions in designing the wig. I'm going to discuss the color. I'll give you measurements. I'll spin. But in addition to that, aside from this wig, because I already put it on and ran my fingers through it and combed it and all. Aside from this wig, I'm going to take them directly out of the box the way they came. I'm going to put it on my head so you can see what that looks like. And then after we talk about it, I will comb through it, style it, and do some different things with it. But I want you to see how wigs come right out of the box. I think sometimes when people are starting out new, they expect the wig to come out of the box looking like the stock photo, and that rarely happens. So hopefully this will just help you to see the process when you get a new wig, what you do, how you make it your own. All right, so starting with Mew. <laughs> the description for this style is a beautiful one length lob with soft waves designed to stay away from the face. So the waves are actually curled out. So if I put my head down, it is gonna fall forward but it's not falling to the center of my face. Endless styling options include low pony, half updo, I'm gonna try these things, <laughs> straightened bob using a flat iron. I will not be trying that. I love these waves, and quite honestly, I think I'm keeping this one for myself, so I'm not gonna straighten this. It's 100% handmade and hand-tied, a part of the Lux collection featuring ear-to-ear -ear lace front to allow you to wear the hair behind the ears without showing any hairline. So I did wanna talk about that, and I will show you the cap. It does have a lace front that goes all the way around the ears, and let me just show you the lace front here. You can see how well that's done. And it does come around the ear tabs, okay? So if I show you this here, you're gonna see, I have hair, I don't know, you know, where other people's hair comes to. Mine comes out pretty far, <laughs> out to here. So that lace is actually over top of my hair. I imagine if you don't have hair here, this lace 
will just like this lace be on your face and it'll look like the hairs coming right out of the side of your head all the way around the ear so you can put this right behind your ear and it's going to look really natural now if I get close I think you can see it's hard for me to see here but I think you can see where the hairline is just because I have all of this growing out there I, I don't know what that's about maybe I should shave it off but anyway uh, this this lace is coming all the way around and you'll see that I don't know if you can see the lace down here you'll see that when I show you the cap so I just wanted to show you that a special knotting and ventilation method is applied to make the individual hair move independently giving you more options to be creative with styling. And that's the beauty of a hand-tied cap. The fibers are sewn in, in maybe two or three fibers at a time, so they fall more like natural hair as opposed to having the hair in wefts because we don't have our hair in strips on our head. So it does fall more naturally. Also, should the wind blow, you're not going to see any wefting because there is none. So that's really nice. Full Mono makes it easy for you to make your own parts, and I'll show you that. And there's no seam between the lace and the Mono. And it's made with the same luxurious, heat-friendly fiber that Beltress is famous for. So all of these are going to be heat-friendly ways you can style them with heat. You just follow the manufacturer instructions. Okay, so let's talk about the measurements on this one. The side, 13 inches. The nape, 6 inches. Hopefully you can see that there. The overall length is 13 inches, which makes sense. It's a lob, so it's going to be the same length all the way around. And she weighs 4.5 ounces. Low density, no permatees at all. It's hand tied. There's no need for permatees to hide any wefting because there is none. I'm going to try on the glasses for you. Take her out. Oh, we got to talk about the color. <laughs> Sometimes I lose track. Okay, I get so excited. All right, so this color is called Sunkissed Almond Rooted. Now, the way they're doing their color descriptions now is there is no written description, at least not yet. Maybe we'll be getting one in the future. But what they are giving us are the numbers of the colors that are combined to make this blend. So I will tell you the numbers and what the numbers mean. And numbers are industry standard numbers, so you'll start to learn what the numbers mean. I'm considering putting up a chart of wig numbers and what those colors are generally. It's a great guideline, but it's not to say that each manufacturer makes that color exactly the same. But in general, a 2 to a 12 is brown, and the lower the number, the darker the color. So anyway, Sunkissed Almond Rooted is a 4 slash 27 slash 613 plus 8. What does that mean? The plus number is the rooting. Eight is a medium brown. So you can see here the medium brown. Four is a darker brown because it's a lower number. So there's some four in here. And if I, I think the four is underneath there. You can see it there. The 27 is in the reds. So you have some nice auburn happening in there. Let me move this to the other side. There we go. The 613 is a platinum blonde. Hopefully you can see that in there as well. And then the plus 8 is the rooting that we talked about. So I'm going to try on the glasses for you. Take it outside. We'll look at the color outside, and then we'll come back in and look at the cap. By the way, my circumference is 21 and a half inches. My hairline to chin measurement is 8 and a half inches. All of my measurements will be in the description below. And this cap is fitting me perfectly. So when I show you the cap, we'll take a look at the adjusters and where they are. And I can tell you more about the fit of the cap. All right, so underneath the ear tabs, I don't feel anything. Over the ear tabs, totally fine also. All right, let's take this lady outside. Okay, so here is sun-kissed almond rooted outside, so you can see the colors. I've been messing with the <laughs> hair. Such a gorgeous color. 
Okay, so let's look at the cap. All right, so here you have the lace front that goes all the way around the ear tabs, as you can see there. And it has, I don't know if that's a polyurethane or a silicone, which grips better. See no seam between the lace front and the full mono top, so you can part anywhere in there. And here you go, you can see my hand through here. 100% hand tied cap, absolutely no wefting. There is a metal stay, by the way, in here under this piece. There's an extended lace nape with the bra strap closures. And this is extended out all the way. So I'm going to say that this goes up to an average. I don't think that this would fit somebody with a large head. So, and there's plenty of room to adjust smaller. So I would say petite to average. Okay, so that is Mew in Sunkissed Almond Rooted. Okay, this next one is Laguna Beach in Mocha Maple Brown. It's part of the City Collection. This is right out of the box, as I told you I would do. Took it out of the box, took the tag off, stuck it on my head. You can see what the part looks like. Look at this color. Gorgeous. i tell you, nobody does colors like Veltress. So we haven't gotten written descriptions of the City Collection yet, so I will just show them to you and show you what the style looks like. You can see here, this is a nice little loose curl or wave. And I'll give you the measurements, those we did get. The measurements are, the sides are 18 inches, the nape, nine inches. The overall length is 18 inches, so this is a long wig. And the weight is 4.8 ounces. Now this is the City Collection, so it's not the Lux hand-tied cap. This is a wefted cap with a side part and extended lace front, and I will be showing you the cap. Let's talk about this color, Mocha Maple Brown. This color is a 6 27, so basically it's a medium brown, a little bit darker than an 8, mixed with a 27, which is a red. And it should be about even parts of each color because of the slash there. So you can see that blended really beautifully. So pretty. Okay, before I start combing it and everything, I'm just going to try the glasses on. Very comfortable under the ear tabs. Normally, glasses aren't comfortable under the ear tabs for me. And over the ear tabs as well. Density-wise, this still feels pretty light. And, and if there's any permatees, I don't think there is, but if there is, it's not much, maybe around here. Really nicely done. Okay, so let me just show you the style. Again, I still haven't combed through this or anything, but I'm just going to turn around for you so you can see it. Okay, now I'm going to, I'm just going to comb through this part, get the hairs off the cap a little bit. Normally, I would shake this out, but I'm not going to take it off my head to do that. And I still want to keep these intact. I might even just do this with my fingers at first. To kind of get the curls a little less separated. Some people like them more separated, and that's totally up to you. That's the beauty. When you get a wig, make it your own. I'm just going to come through the bottom here a little bit. So pretty. Now, I don't normally wear wigs this long for me, but if you're looking for a longer wig, this is gorgeous. And really, the front here does stay out of your face. I think it's because they have the curl curled in that direction. 
All right, I'm going to style her a little bit and also take her outside to show you the color. Okay, here is Mocha Maple Brown. Hopefully you can see the red and the brown in there. Look at these curls, how gorgeous are they? Okay, so let's take a look at the cap. Here you go, you have the extended lace front from ear tab to ear tab. A side part right here so you want to keep your part in here. Here is some closed wefting. I don't really feel any permatees. If there were any, I would think it would be in there. Um, if there is any, it's not a lot. You have your velvety ear tabs with the metal stays. Open wefting, as you can see. The extended velvety nape and Velcro adjusters. And these are adjusted in somewhat. And this fit me comfortably. These wefted caps like this will have more stretch. So I would say that this could definitely go smaller than my 21 and a half inch. Could definitely go a little larger plus there's some stretch. So I would say that you could go up to an average, maybe even slightly bigger than average in this cap. And there you go. That is Laguna Beach in Mocha Maple Brown. How beautiful. Okay, meet Palo Alto in Crushed Almond Blonde Rooted. This is, again, right out of the box. Just took the tag off. <laughs> There's really not much you have to do to this style, that's for sure. Really adorable. I'd probably go behind my ears. The measurements on her are the side is 6 inches. The nape is 2 inches. The overall length is six inches. The side bang is two and a half to three and a half inches. So that's this here. And if you wanted to wear bangs, you certainly could do that. And you might need to snip it a little. That could look cute. I kind of like it off to the side a little. And she weighs just 2.3 ounces. She has an extended lace front a mono part and we'll look at those things when we look at the cap. As I said, this color is crushed almond blonde rooted. So let's take a look at the numbers on that color. Okay, so this color, crushed almond blonde rooted, is a 14, which is a blonde, a darker ash blonde, a 17, which is a lighter ash blonde. We should be looking here. And the higher a number you go, the more golden it gets. So you see some more golden bits in there. Uh, a 101, which is a platinum blonde, so that's your light color. And this definitely has a cool tone to it. And then a plus 18, which is even more golden, and that's your rooting there. And I will be doing color comparisons between brands. I know people have said to me, it would be really great if we said, oh, we like this color in this brand, what would that be in another brand? And I have the color rings out and I'm looking at them. I'll probably start with the most popular colors and find the comparisons in each brand. And as I do that, I'll roll that out to you. That could be a video I do or a chart that I put up. I haven't really decided how to do that yet or both. <laughs> okay. So let me try on the glasses. This is fitting me just fine. We'll look at where the adjusters are. The glasses, I think I feel the glasses a little bit under this one. I would probably not wear it under the ear tabs, over the ear tabs, totally fine. These glasses are filthy, gotta clean those. So there's really not much to do as far as styling this one. So I'm just gonna take her outside, show you the color, and we'll come back in and look at the cap. Okay, so here we go, you can see all the platinum in there and some gold parts. This is crushed almond rooted. 
The other good thing about this fire is after I run outside to show you the color, I come back in. It's nice and warm right here. Okay. So let's look at the cap. Oh, I forgot to tell you density. Very light. What was it? Two point something ounces. Again, if there's any permatease, I, I highly doubt there is, but I hate to say there isn't and then have there be some, but if there is, it's minimal. Okay, so here you go. You have the lace front from ear tab to ear tab extended there. Your mono part fairly narrow, so you're going to have to keep your part right in that spot. Some lace here, and then you have your open wefting. You have your velvety ear tabs with the metal stays. The Velcro adjusters on the extended velvety nape, and the adjusters are in slightly, so could go a little bit larger, and again, you have stretch in these caps. So I would say that this definitely goes smaller than my head, probably to a petite, and probably to average or slightly more than average. There you go, Palo Alto, part of the city collection in crushed almond blonde rooted. Okay, meet Isabel in rich chocolate brown rooted. I remember people asking me, can you do more brunettes and can you do some longer wigs? And I think I had that in mind when I was ordering these six wigs because you are seeing some longer styles and some more brunettes. So hopefully you're liking that. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, she feels loose. And we'll take a look at the adjusters, but definitely room in here. I like I'm moving it. Again, right out of the box, have not done anything but taken the tag off. Since she's the Lux collection, she has a description. The description says, made with a premium stretch lace front, maybe that's why it feels looser, <laughs> from ear to ear to give you the freedom to wear the hair behind the ears. Okay, so that's that same lace that's going to go around the ear. Extremely lightweight and comfortable hand-tied cap gives the ultra-luxurious experience with the silkiest and most durable heat-friendly bell tress fiber. A special knotting and ventilation method is applied to make the individual hair move independently, giving you more options to be creative with styling. So that same Lux cap, which we'll take a look at. And again, let me see if I can get these ear tabs in place. It's so loose that it's lifting up. I really should tighten this, but for now, I'm just going to hold it down to show you that, again, my hair is extending out front, but this lace is coming all the way around the ear tab here, and the ear tab is coming to about here, like right above my ears. So if you don't have that hair coming forward, I can imagine that this would be really nice. Not that you're going to see it if you wear it down like this. All right, so... She's heat-friendly, monofilament top, completely hand-tied. We're going to look at all of that. Her sides are 18 inches. You can see that there. Her nape, 11 inches. The overall length, 7 to 18 inches. So I'm trying to see where there's a 7 since my face is 8 and a half. I don't know, the shortest I'm finding seems to be the length of my face. Or longer, actually. Mm, I can't find a seven. Seems eight and a half to me, but I don't know. Side bang, seven inch. That's what it says it is, seven inch for the side bang. It seems a little bit longer to me. And it weighs 5.3 ounces. Again, no permatease, low density, really nice. Okay, now I'm just going to start to... Actually, this one I'm going to take off and tighten a little bit. And then and I'll shake it out while it's off. Because this one... And look at this. This is going to fit a large head. Um, it can go a lot smaller. And we'll look at this when we look at the cap. But I just wanted to show you that um, it's there's a little bit to go bigger even there's more to go smaller but this is loose so I'm gonna say this is gonna fit somebody with a larger head it's interesting that the same cap I mean it's part of the Lux collection 
fits differently. All right, so I'm going to just take this and shake the fibers off the cap and put her back on. I'll just show you her lace front here. Beautifully done. And you can see just shaking it up gets those fibers off the cap. And I'm just going to come through it a little bit. This is some gorgeous looking hair. I always wanted hair like this. <laughs> and now I can have it. <laughs> How great is that? In a way, I'm kind of thankful for my thinning hair. If I hadn't had thinning hair, I would have never discovered that I could have any hair I want. <laughs> okay, so this is Isabel. I think she's glamorous. All right, let's try the glasses on underneath the ear tabs. I have a feeling, yeah, no problem. This stretch lace or whatever it is, uh, yeah, no problem over either really does make the cap looser. I think I could tighten this even more. And I'll show you where I tightened it to when we look at the cap after I take this outside and show you the color. I almost forgot to go over the color. Rich Chocolate Brown Rooted is a two, which is the darkest brown. Let's see if you can see these colors in here. A four, which is the next up dark brown. So it's a little bit lighter than the darkest. A 30, which ha is a red, so you can see that running through there. And the rooting is a 4, which is also a dark brown. All right, now I'm going to take her outside so you can see the color out there. Okay, so here you can see the rich, dark chocolate brown rooted. I think that's what it was called. But you can see the really dark brown rooting. There's some lighter brown also, as well as darker brown, and some red in it. Okay, I went to style this for you, and I realized I said this is low density because I don't feel any density up here. But when I went to make a ponytail, just so you know, the ponytail's like this. So I don't know if you would consider it low density, really. I mean, up here it feels so natural and no density at all. But let me just show you the ponytail here so you can see the thickness of that. Okay, so let's take a look at the cap. And I just want to say, as I was styling this, I'm going to say it's more medium density, even though it doesn't feel really thick around the top. When I was styling it to put a barrette in it to hold it, it there was a decent amount of hair there. So I just want to make sure you know that. Okay, so here we go. You have this lace front that goes all the way around your ear tabs that polyurethane or silicone i really got to find out what that is so i say the right thing the metal stay is in there no seam right into your mono top your totally hand tied top here beautifully done the extended lace nape the bra strap closure so you can see how much i have them pulled in there Still a little loose for me. So this one, I'm going to say, runs on the bigger side. So if you have a larger head, you can probably wear this. And it said a stretch lace. I don't really want to pull on the lace, but I'm seeing if it stretches there. Yeah, it does. It actually does stretch a little bit. I don't want to stretch it out at all, but it seems to stretch a little bit. Okay, so this is Isabel in rich dark chocolate rooted. Okay, meet Mara in cool champagne blonde. I don't have a description for her yet, and the measurements aren't actually making sense to me. I'll give them to you and I'll explain why. 
but this is a beautiful style straight and it looks a little longer in the front here and shorter in the back there nice chic style the reason the measurements don't make sense to me is because it says the sides are 10 inches and the overall length is 10 and a half inches to me the sides seem longer than the back I may be doing that wrong. I don't know. The nape is three and a half inches. And she weighs just 3.1 ounces, very light, low density, luxe cap, 100% hand tied. It's going to have the beautiful uh, extended lace front, which I'll show you. She's fitting me very comfortably. We'll check where the adjusters are. I have not, as you see, shaken her out or combed her part out, so I'm going to do that right now so we can take a look at her, how she'd actually be styled. I do have a piece falling in my face here, but she is heat friendly, so I'd be able to style that out of my face, no problem. All right, let me just shake her up a little bit, style her a little bit the way I'd wear her. I do like this style. This is right up my alley, as you guys probably know. Shake her a little bit. Get the fibers off the cap. Oh, we have to talk about the color. Cool Champagne Blonde is what this is called. Let me just put her back on a second. Okay. Now let me comb through her part. Wear her easily behind the ears there. You see my dark hair peeking out because my hair is much darker than this wig. But this is a style I would totally wear. Can even tuck it behind both ears. Definitely low density, no problem tucking behind the ears there. So funny, my ears stick out a little bit. And I was like, oh, that's the wig grip right behind my ears. I'm just going to take the wig grip off. This was one night when I was going out so my ears don't stick out. No, it's my ears. <laughs> they stick out. So, with or without the wig grip, those ears stick out. Really cute style. You could tie her back a little bit if you want. She's not long enough in the back for me to do a ponytail. I mean, unless she had something tiny like this, it doesn't really make sense to me. With this style, I would probably just kind of play with it. Get her behind my ears like that. Mm, love it. I'm thinking I have to get this in one of the colors for myself, but I'm not sure which one yet. If you have an idea which color you think I should get this in, let me know. I really like this. Okay. Speaking of color, let's talk about this color. Cool Champagne Blonde. Okay, so this color is a 10, which is the lightest brown. So you might be able to see that in there, just a little bit. A 16, which is a blonde, and an 88, which is your lightest blonde. And you can see that really light blonde there, looks very light. This does have some golden hues to it, so it does have some warmth, but overall, it's a cool color. Okay, let me put on the glasses. Underneath the ear tabs, I don't feel it. Over top, I don't feel it. And let me just show you the ear tabs here. Again, I have that dark hair sticking out, but you have the lace coming all the way around the ear tab down here. So if you don't have this sticking out, imagine <laughs> that you would just have lace against the side of your face, and then it would just look like hair coming out of the side of your head. I love this. All right, I'm going to take her outside. We're going to look at the color, and we'll come back in and look at the cap. Okay, so here you go. Cool Champagne Blonde. For you ladies who like a cool color, this is really beautiful. 
And I think you can see the light brown in there now that I'm out here outside. My fire's out. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the cap. Hopeless, I am hopeless. Definitely wasn't a Boy Scout. I was a Girl Scout, but they didn't teach us that. All right, so here we go. We have the extended lace front all the way around. No seam. Your mono top here, completely hand tied. The same silicone polyurethane, whatever that is, with the metal stay in it here. All hand tied, extended lace nape. And the adjusters are out toward the end. It was comfortable on me. I probably could have even tightened it a little bit. I would say this definitely goes to an average, maybe slightly larger. If you have a large head, I don't know that these would fit you. There is some stretch to this cap as well. Okay, so that is Mara in cool champagne rooted. Okay, this is Los Angeles in Mocha Maple Brown, and you may be saying to yourself, didn't we see a Mocha Maple Brown? Yes. I don't know what I'm doing when I'm ordering, but I should not be allowed to order the wigs for review. Somebody else, <laughs> help. Anyway, this is right out of the box. I haven't touched her, so you can see here. Her style is shorter in the back. She has some wave and longer here in the front. Right out of the box, this piece is hanging in my face, but I haven't done anything to her yet. And she is heat friendly, so she can be styled. Mocha Maple Brown, I believe, was $6.27. So that is the medium brown with the red blended, which you can see that there. Beautiful color. She's heat friendly, has a monofilament part, extended lace front. We'll look at that when we look at the cap. Her measurements, side 10 inches, which is what they said Mara's sides were, and I would say that's similar. The nape, 2 inches, so much shorter back here. The overall length is 10 inches, and she weighs just 2.9 ounces, so she's very lightweight. Now I'm just going to start to run my fingers through her, try to play with her. So you could see the way I got her, I wouldn't wear her that way. I'd have to play with her a little bit. Yeah, already she's starting to look better. I'm going to comb here through the part. Oh, let me just show you the lace front while I'm here. I'm sorry if I neglected to do that on some of the others there. There you go. All the lace fronts look amazing on these. And I'll show you the ear tabs. I don't think I've shown you the ear tabs on one of the city pieces. They come down to here. You're not, you don't have lace coming around the ear tab like you do on the Lux piece. So this is ending right here, as you can see. Very good coverage, really good coverage. This is a cute style too. I think I'd, you know, put one side behind my ear like this. Wear it like that. Or you could put it up in a barrette on one side. You could fluff it up a little bit more. I don't feel any permatees. Definitely a low density wig. Really cute style. Let me turn for you. So this is one of those wigs. If I was new to wigs and I first got that out of the box and I put it on the way I put it on, I would say, oh my gosh, this is not for me. But now I know I can play with it. And with this, you can heat style it too, but I wouldn't need to. I would wear it with the curls. Really cute style. Put on some big blingy earrings and you're ready to go looking glamorous. All right, let me try on the glasses with this. I don't feel this one under the ear tabs or over the ear tabs. 
no problem at all. I'll take the color outside even though you've already seen it, but you'll get to see it on this wig. Okay, here you go, mocha maple brown outside. You can see the red and the brown. Cute little waves or curls on this style. Really adorable. Okay, so there you have it. Six new Beltress wigs in five colors. <laughs> From the Lux Collection and the City Collection, if you have any questions at all, please put them in the comments below or reach out to us. We have a contact form on our website, franniesHair.com. I have a private Facebook group that you can come over and join, and we have our group experts there. We have our stylist there, V. All of us there ready to help you. I'm there also. I pop in and out. Don't forget to check out these wigs at franniesHair.com. I will list in the description below each of these wigs so that you can go over and take a look at them. And remember, if the wig that you want is currently out of stock, just email orders at franniesHair.com and we'll take care of you and make sure you get the wig as quickly as possible. All right, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon. Oh, and let me know which of these you like for me, for you. What's your favorite color? I always love to hear. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.